Alright, what is going on guys? Why is he here? And we are back playing some more Spyro. Uh, in this episode, if I can get the camera to actually, you know, like, go where I freaking want it to go. Uh, we're gonna play Zephyr. Uh, this is... I don't, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but this is my favorite level. Uh, I love all, like, the little side questies that you can do in this level. It's pretty neat. So pretty much in this, in, uh, Autumn Plains, I think that's it. Um, so like, you know how we had the, over at the, uh, Breeze Harbor, we were working with the birds and we were facing off against the moles. This one is the opposite, where we're facing off, or we're working with the moles and facing off against the birds. At least I think they're moles. I'm not 100% sure what they are. But, uh, yeah, we're teaming up with them. I'm gonna call them moles, because that's what I've always known them as. Have been moles. So, we're teaming up with them to take down the birds, which, damn it. This one's a pain in the ass. I, I hate these, I hate the birds. The birds are dickheads. Because of that right there. They just, they'll dive bomb you. Out of nowhere. Like that. They also drop bombs for these birds. Which in turns they shoot them at me. It is this all is tricky. Uh, Cause I gotta eventually kill these birds and get all the jammies over here. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, the these birds will dive bomb at us and try to blow us up while they're while the little birds are also spitting bombs out at us like that. So what we gotta do to take down these birds over here, like these ones flying up in the air, because they're kind of a pain in the ass to uh, try to knock down on our own, we get to take a cool freaking... Aww, I can't even get that one? That's dumb. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta use the cannon over here to take them down. Hey, Dicky, get off. Sorry, Sergeant Tub. I gotcha. Gimme. Got him. I'm gonna blow up this door. I just run. I, I run these cannons rapid fire, man. There's no reason I can't. I shouldn't. You can't do them rapid fire. I don't know if I can reach those birds from over here. Although I'm not 100% sure if you actually have to um, kill all the enemies. In a, in a level to 100% the level. Another one's gonna come by? No? Okay. I don't know if you actually have to kill all the enemies to 100% a level. I don't know if that's part of the criteria. But, uh... Because I don't know if I've ever actually killed all the... Those bomb birds before... So like I said, they're kind of a pain in the ass to kill. And look like they look like they're all dead over there. So we'll we'll just go with it. And uh, if I have to go back and kill some birds, well, you know, so be it. Oh, I actually got them. Wow. Oh shit. Then were some good reflexes. I'm great. Hey, leave that fucking thing alone, dude. That's mine. Only I can kill the worms. Dick. Oh, you hungry? Sorry, can't have none. Oh, dickhead. Yeah. This level is actually pretty big, which is compared. I mean, compared to the other ones, this level is huge. Uh, this one actually kind of takes a little bit of time to get through, which is nice compared to all the other levels, which like. You can breeze through with like no problem. So we're gonna take a second here. We're gonna go do some side stuff down here. So there's a lot of shit that we can do down here. That that's one of the things that we can do. Let's uh let's go start this one. That's this is kind of harder side questy to do. But also one of my favorites because I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love Bo Peep. <laughs> He's great. 
My name? Lobo Pete. Good job, buddy. He knows his name. Proud of him. Dick! Ah, uh, that makes sense as to why there wasn't, uh, there was only one more bird over there. Because when they dive bomb, they just die. It makes a lot of sense, actually. So now we gotta use this to get this cowlick up, because we need to do the fire blast shot. It launches on the fuck up there. Can I reach him from here? I don't think I can. That's alright. Um, let me get all the... If I can hit this goddamn thing! I'm gonna get all the gems first, and then... Then I'll worry about the cowlicks. Hi, guys. It's good to see ya. Oh, boy. Get it! Thank you. Oh, I actually got that dude up there. Sweet. I wonder if I can just, uh... No. It's not gonna work. Back over here we go. And Shadushki. There we go. The Kyloks are cool. They're adorable. Look at them. Go. Be gone with you. Get out of here. How many gems or orbs are there? Four. Ah, that's what I thought, yeah. It's all coming back to me. Get the fuck in there. So there's like... So I know there's two different Cowlick missions you gotta do. There's another one after I get this one. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna get all the Cowlicks over in this area. So I know there's two more that I gotta get that are for fucking ever away. So we're gonna go get those ones. And I think there's, in the process of this one, there's another side quest that we can do, which is this one. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I gotta find the professor. Hi, Juliet. It's a truly a love story. As old as time. I just hope they don't end up like Romeo and Juliet. That, that'd that be upsetting. Private Romeo seems like a good guy. Real stand-up citizen, if you will. Uh, so let's go get these other cowlicks. There's the one. I think there's two over here. Which, one of them's fucking hard as all hell to do. Actually, both the, yeah, to get these ones over where we need them to be are a real pain in the ass. Because I gotta make that jump. And if I don't make that jump, then they go all the way back down and well, repetition is not fun. No, no one likes to repeat shit that they've already done. And dealing with the Calyx are not the greatest. Dealing with camera angles are not the greatest. So if I can just get this done as quickly as possible, that and for doing doing a first try would just be fantastic. Hi, Professor. I'll be back. I'll be back for you, buddy. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna forget about you. There you go. Oh, nice fucking wall run, dude. Okay, get your ass up. Yeah, walk. <laughs> oh my God. That was about real fucking bad, and I would have been real fucking pissed. A lot of the times, they'll, like, sit on the ledge, and then they just bounce off each other. Like dickheads. I've had that happen many times. Or they, or they uh, hit off Private Romeo, and uh, bounce off him, and then back on the ground. That also, that, pit, that pisses me off, too. Pretty much the worst of the worst has happened to me in this game, and I've experienced it all. 
Go. Yeah, see, like that shit. This motherfucker just about fell off the edge from all the way the fuck over there. Because he bounced off that guy. Come on, Cowlix. I still don't understand why they're called Cowlix. Maybe like cow offense or something? Because they look like part cow, part elephant. And I, I don't I don't know where the lick comes from. I get the cow, you know. So they kind they're like spotted like cows are. So that that I totally understand. It's the lick part I don't get. So like that that's like a t that's, that's an elephant cow thing. It's an abomination, but damn it are they adorable. Get your ass up there. Go. Get get in there. Fucker. Get in there. I found that this is the best way to do it. Just getting them all rounded up at one time. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you, Bo Peep. You're my favorite character. Uh, well, they're they're right the fuck here. And this is why I just I I just get the Calix over with. As much as I love them, they're a pain in the ass to do, especially that jump. So if you just being slightly off, and there's a lot of things that could go wrong. I just I go for it anyway and just say fuck it. So like I said, they could bounce off each other, or they'll hit a wall. Or they bounce off fucking Private Romeo, and you gotta go all the way the fuck back down, and nothing's more frustrating than having to bring them all back up again. So now, that kind of opens us up to doing Private Romeo's thing. And I already know, we already know where the professor is. He's all the way over here. This, I love this level, or this, this uh, side quest. This is one of my favorite ones. It's so cool. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, so we gotta go. Alright, so this is how we do this. We're gonna go over here. So we need to get multiple seeds. So, we're gonna plant this here, first and foremost. We're gonna get this seed up here. And we're gonna come all the way back. This one's a lot of just going like back and forth and trying to figure out what goes where and what fits where. So that's gonna go mare. So now we gotta go all the way back. Cause you can't fit two seeds in your mouth. That that'd just be too difficult. That'd be too easy. Plop. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna plop out for a second. I got a little worried that the game was gonna glitch. I would have been very upset. So then. Come here. Go boop. And get this seed. And we're gonna split this right there. Whoops. And then this seed is gonna go right. I really hope I make that. Did I make it? Yay! Oh, happy day. Kill that guy. And that guy. I just about skidded off the edge there. And we're gonna launch this song, bitch. Right there. Nail it. Precision. Like a goddamn sniper shot. What's that? I could have sworn there was something over there. Oh, there's that, that was those birds. Like, I freaking knew I saw something over there. Got me paranoid as all hell. Thank you. Why, thank you, Professor. And an orb? Oh my god, I would have never thought. Thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so this is what we're gonna we're gonna spit that there. 
damn good thing I know what I'm doing. So we need to take that, bring that here. Boop. Now we take our other seed, because it... The reason we brought both seeds over, because if we just spit that down initially, we wouldn't have been able to get over. Or we wouldn't have been able to get back over once we spit that down. Because it's too far of a jump and that's in the way. You know, man. So now we're here. Hi. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. Romeo, run! She's a dude! Juliet's really Julian. Run! I'm trying to save you! Run, Romeo, run! Don't fall for her ruse. Or his ruse. Cause that's a dude. Hey, we've been there. Alright, so that's uh, all the orbs, which was very fun. I, f I love this level. Let's get this real quick while we're still over here. Might as well get this done. Because that's a pain in the ass to do once you complete the level and you gotta come all the way the fuck back here. So it's just best to get it done now. Boink. Ah, look at that. I actually needed that. Cool. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Oh, there's another guy. Hey, dive bomb me, bitch. Oh, you... Got fucking lucky... God damn it. Come here. Damn it. Hey, asshole. Come here. Ah, you bitch, I gotcha. Suck it. Ooh. That's, uh, that's a lot of high-value gems right there. Let me tell ya. Alright, so that's done. Now we can... Now we can complete the level. How many more gems we gotta get? We got, like... Uh... 68 more gems to get. Easy peasy. We still gotta get... Kinda got a pretty big chunk of, a uh, level to get through still, so... Not too worried. Not too worried about missing anything. We still got, like, this whole upper area to deal with, so... You know, we're, we're looking good. Shaboink. Shaboink. Yeah, you eat that one up, Sparks. You deserve it, buddy. Ah. Die. Boink, boink, boink. Look at that, 10 more. Or 11 more. Fuck. Yeah, bitch. Let's kill those guys. Let's see if we can hit them from here. That'd be awesome. Oh! Sniped his up, oh, missed him. Well, let's keep shooting. We're bound to hit him with a. Ah, there it is. Oh shit. Skadoosh. That was red. And break that thing. Now that should be all of them. If not, then there's probably some hanging out. And how many more we got? Oh wow. Okay, 20, 25 more. Uh. There might. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. I knew there was some crates or something in here. Okay, we got... There's still a five-piece somewhere. Great. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright. The search for five gems. Let's do it. I mean, it's either gonna be a five-piece or there's gonna be a couple one... Or a couple one pieces and a two piece or something. I don't know. Did I miss any over here? No. I'll have to go back down 
to the cowlick area, maybe. Yeah. No. Get... Put me the fuck down, asshole. I. Uh, let's look over in this first cowlick area. Not in this part, but over here, maybe. So I feel like I didn't look through here all the way. I think there's a thing over here. That... Oh no, I got that. Um. Be pissed if I missed one from that mystery jar all the way back at the beginning. Unless it's over by the professor's area, which it could be. Oh man. This is the worst part about it. Just going back and trying to find gems that you missed. I have no idea where the hell to even look for said gems. Corner here? No, no, nothing. I don't think I looked. Did I look down here? Probably not very hard. No, nothing there either. Hell, it could be all the way back at the beginning. I really hope it's not, but, you know, whatever. Let's keep looking over here, maybe. Is that this little second spot? Perhaps. Was it up by Juliet and I just missed a canister or something? Professor, you hiding anything? You you hiding over No, never mind. Nope, not there either. Okay. Uh, you need to go bye bye. It's not over here then, it's gotta be at the beginning somewhere. Which is kinda shitty, but so I was just over there. Unless it's up here. No. Okay, then it's somewhere back at the beginning. So that's fun. Ah, oh boy. I was just saying, too. Oh, we got like a whole nother part to look through. We're totally not going to miss it. I only got to get it five more, right? Yeah. Totally not going to miss anything. God, I suck. Uh, in here, maybe? Okay, did I get everything in here? Yeah. Sure did. Did I kill everyone? Yeah, I did kill everyone. Zoe, help me out, homie. Where am I missing shit at, huh? Anything down here? Fuck you. God damn it. Yay, okay. So that's Zephyr done. And I say fuck it, let's just do another let's do another level in this episode. We'll make this a long episode to make up for the short episode before. That sounds pretty fair to me. For those of you who are really enjoying this let's play, uh hope you guys are gonna Hope you guys are gonna enjoy this long episode. Because who doesn't love a good long episode to just sit around and do nothing and just watch? I love doing that. I could watch multiple hour long episodes and be completely fine. Yeah, you big sack of shit. Go get it. <laughs> Classic trick. Old bird feed in front of the cannon trick. Works 10 out of 10 times. Oh, shit. Hmm. Alrighty. So, now, that's all the levels out here that are, that we can do. Those are all done. Now we gotta head to the castle. Which actually we're gonna do... No, I don't wanna do that level. There's another level... In the, or there's a level in this one that I hate too. Well, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. it it's kind of cool, but it's also a big pain in the ass. It's this one, Fracture Hills. Uh, we're gonna do Magma Cone. Magma Cone's so much better. We'll do Fracture Hills and um, insert other 
level here. All right, magma cones. Magma cones fun. This is a pretty expansive level too, I think. I think if this is the level I'm thinking of, there's a level in in uh, Spyro 3 that's kind of similar to this one, and I always get it mixed up with this one. So I think this is the one. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I thought this was in Spyro 3. Yeah, I kept thinking this was in Spyro 3. Those fuckers. How did you just shut off a volcano? Bitch. 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 Yeah, kick his ass, sea bass. That a boy. Way to not be a Sally, you fawn. All right, let's make sure we get all the gems over here. So I really don't want to come back out of the volcano once I go in. So we'll be extra, extra careful to make sure we have all the gems over in this area. So, I mean, I mean, I guess it's not too big of a deal to go back into the volcano. I just don't feel like it, to be brutally honest. But that's okay. Hey, fuck you, guy. Here you go. Hey, asshole, come here. Cut him off. Bitch, fuck you. Don't throw shit at me and then run away like a pussy. The fuck do you think you are? Let's kill this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Magma Cone and Fracture Hill are connected. Or like, they're like in the same place. Not really the same place, but like... I'm pretty sure their characters are like... The same, you know? If that makes any goddamn sense whatsoever. It probably doesn't, but you'll you'll know what I mean in a second here. Which that also reminds me I gotta go back over here and get that thing that I exploded. Way to remember stuff, Austin. Good job. Oh hello. But I in Fracture Hill I'm pretty sure like the NPCs are fawns as well. I'm almost positive. Did I, did I get... Oh, shit, I did get the gem over here. Cool. And I'm pretty sure those rock guys um, are in Fracture Hill as well. Like, the big ones. Not the ones that throw shit. The big ones. The big song bitches. Those guys are in Fracture Hill as well. I think. We'll find out in the next episode regardless, but... It might be a day for you guys to figure out, but it'll actually be just a couple minutes for me. Because I'm going to do another episode after this. I'm overloading on episodes today. We're gonna get a lot done. That's my that's my mission for today. I'm still out of a GameCube controller. I know where it is. I just haven't got went and got it yet. So Billy Hatcher is gonna be coming soon. I also got another couple other GameCube games I really want to play too. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot about these ones down here. Yeah, there's a couple other GameCube games I really want to uh, play on the channel as well. So those will be coming soon, once I go get my GameCube controller. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Paper Mario might start again. I'm not 100% sure on that one yet. Let, let me know in the comments. Do you guys want to see some Paper Mario? If you guys want to see some Paper Mario, I will definitely gladly start that back up. But if it's kind of like, meh, I could care less about Paper Mario, then probably won't start it up again. So I'll let you guys decide. Uh... Comment, yeah, or just get, give me give me some kind of comment for yes or no. I don't care. You can say, fuck no, fuck you, this sucks. Or yeah, fuck yeah, this, this, that'll be awesome. I love Paper Mario. And we'll see. Because uh, it's, a, it, it's a long game. It's a very long and grueling game. And I'm not as familiar with the original as I am with Thousand Year Door. 
I used to play the shit out of Thousand Year Door, so I kind of know more about that than I do, uh, than I do the first one. This is the first one of the series, and there's, I think there's like, uh, there's about to be, I think there's four now? Or no, five maybe? I think they released that one for, uh, the Color Splash, I'm pretty sure they released that, didn't they? Yeah, they released Color Splash. There's uh, Paper Mario, and then it goes Thousand Year Door, and then um, Super Paper Mario, which that one's pretty neat. Uh, Sticker Smash, which sucked a big old donger. I heard that one was just absolutely trash. And then Color Splash. I haven't played that one yet either. But I also haven't even heard anything about it, so I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay, let's play. I'll kick your ass on her. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. The trick is just to follow Hunter the entire time. If you just kind of follow wherever Hunter goes, you're pretty much guaranteed to win. Or, you know, you can go do your own thing. I prefer to follow Hunter and just kind of steal his thunder. Shit, where'd he go? Oh, the fucker. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, there we go. Now I gotta do it again. This one's a tricky one. He's a son of a bitch, man. Hunter, Hunter will get you, man. He's he's a con, dude. He's a con artist. Now he's like fucking try hard mode, and will totally kick your ass. See, like that. Bitch. I just gotta stay ahead of the game and I gotta keep my camera angles on point. That is the name of the game right now. Shit. Get this one. Suck it. Woo! That's actually the first time I ever beat him first try. Yeah, fuck you, Hunter, you bastard man. Alright. So I think now we can go into the volcano, because that's everything outside the volcano. Yeah, so there's like 100, 109 gems left to find. And I'm pretty sure we can find all those in the volcano, so I'm not too worried about it. Even though I just said that in the last episode, and we ended up having to go and find some shit. But that's besides the point. But... It'll be alright. So let's, uh, let's go talk to Moneybags, that fucking greedy dickhead again. And pay him to do some stuff. And not even good stuff either, it's bullshit stuff. Well, if it isn't my Fuck you, Moneybags, you're a cock-sucking piece of shit and I hate you. Fuck you. I wish I could set you on fire. And then take your money bag. A quicker way to go down. Alright, so there's another, uh... Nope. There's another, uh, side quest in here that we can do. Which is pretty fun. It's a flying one, so we get to fly around and shit.
There we go. Just gotta keep shimmying up the ladder here. Get there. Yep. And close the volcano. Bippo. That's a sweet name, Bippo. Or Bippo. Not Bippo. Hey, thanks, man. You know what? You're an alright guy. I like you, Bippo. You're officially my new favorite fawn. Alright, so now we can go do the thing with the fucking lava demons. Hi. Lava monsters. Close enough. Lava monsters, lava demons, same thing. Get the party hats, for fuck's sake. Oh, those dickheads. They might be dickheads, but damn it, do they look cool. Fucker. Oh, okay, okay, come on. Come on, Spyro. Oh, wait, I remember what I got to do. I need this. I right, just go boop. Or not. I gotta take the uh, lava rocks here and. If I can hit the goddamn lava rocks! Oh my god. Will you just put a damn lava rock in your mouth? Thank you. And go boop and fucking kick his ass. Thank you. What, Spyro, dude. You're killing me here, man. Shit. Where's the thing? God, that was a close one. Bitch. 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 There we go, Spyro. That's what I'm talking about, my man. Now we're fucking rocking and rolling here. Fuck you. <laughs> Little bitch. There go reload. And Shibushi. Dive bomb, dive bomb. Shit. Fuck you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me with your whore hands. Those are the hands of a whore. I missed that one. Oh shit, I got them all. Cool. Pussy. Got all of them down here. Is it? Yeah, I think so. And up to Daisy we go. Let's hit a reload on our wingies. On our wingalings. Pussy. Alright, so where's the entrance to this place? Uh, oh, here it is. Pussy! Shit. My ass has been burnt. I think that's all of them. Yeah! We did it! We are the greatest. Magma Cone completed. Let's go get Sparks back. We need Sparks. Otherwise, we're screwed. <laughs> Those guys are just fucking adorable. Yeah, they're just like partying and having a good time. Fuck you! <laughs> what a dick, dude! <laughs> that was the biggest dick move I've ever seen a, like an NPC do in my life. Holy shit, that was brutal. He just murdered that dude. He pushed him right into the fucking water. Or not water, into the lava. Damn, man. That's some fucking... That's some heavy shit right there. What's this one? Is this another speedway? No, Shady Oasis. That's another, uh... That's, that's one of the levels where we're gonna have to come back after we play through it and, uh... 
after we get the head bash ability. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. We completed two more levels. We only have three more to go for um, Autumn Plains. And we will do another one in probably even two of them. Because I can probably bust out the Speedway in not too long of a time. So we'll definitely be able to do... We'll definitely do the Speedway and probably uh, Shady Oasis. Because I really don't feel like... I really don't want to do Fracture Hills. But that's besides the point. So like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.